Yes guys, welcome back to the channel. Today it's going to be a match reaction to a very disappointing game. Uh, Apologise, it's a little bit late. Um, I didn't do it in the morning because, well, just didn't get any sleep last night. Um, but, obviously last night Ukraine beat Scotland 3-1 and Ukraine on Sunday will now face Wales in a chance to get to Qatar. It was probably, it was one of the worst performances I've seen for Scotland in a long time. And not actually, no, for, for a wee while. Um, I don't know why I say a long time, because we're always bad. We, we, we were good against Moldova, Denmark and the Faroe Islands, but that was it. It was just really disappointing that we didn't have m much attacking threat. We missed, in the second half, we missed so many sitters. It was at Absolutely embarrassing to watch Scotland at some point and to be honest Ukraine played well, but nine most of the time they were just taking advantage of our mistakes and You know they got their three deserved goals and When it was 2-0 I thought This is it. This is genuinely it. We're not gonna win this and if we'd actually Scored some of the chances that we had we could have won this game uh, we could have won that game, and we didn't. So, um, the first half starts off nothing much apart from Ukraine's goal, which originally I did believe it. I did think it was offside, but then watching it back, it was onside. Um, Grant Hanley was playing. Uh, was it, I can't remember who scored the first goal. It might have been uh, Uram I can't remember, but Grant Hanley was playing him offside. Was playing him onside. It's. Disappointing, to say the least, that we didn't create more chance. We created a few chances, but it was impress. It was, but um, disappointing. We couldn't put them away. Uh, we put one of our chances away, but that was really a bit of luck that the ball wasn't cleared away uh, quicker. It was genuinely, as I said earlier, embarrassing to watch. Um, you know, there was one moment where Aaron Hickey in the second half got past. Um, my, I can't remember who it was, and um, puts a great ball into the box. Shea Adams can, it's a brilliant ball. It goes straight to the keeper. But Shea Adams could have maybe stretched and maybe not, he could have maybe not scored, but maybe try and stretch a leg out, take a touch, and then shoot, or cut back, pass it into the middle, and then score. It was genuinely disappointing, and it's a lesson to be learned for Scotland, and once again, we are not in the World Cup. I and mean, we have to wait till 2026. Um, obviously we've got Euro Euros in 2024 where we can maybe get to um, another European tournament. But the World Cup's cursed for Scotland. I really don't know if we're ever going to get into the World Cup. It's going to be tough to get past. At least, we, uh, look, at least we got to the playoffs. The playoffs is good enough. But I really could have thought we could have. I really thought we could have won that. And we didn't. Another opportunity, I can't go without speaking about McGinn's opportunity. It was genuinely, it was harder to miss than to score. It's genuinely like, I, when I saw it, I thought, that's in, that's in. And then he heads it wide. And I was raging at the TV because I don't know how he missed it. And it's... From that point on, I thought, we're not winning this. And as well, um, obviously when McGregor, you know, when the goalkeeper, the Ukrainian keeper, came out, uh, he took a poor touch and then tried to pass it away. And then McGregor uh, deflected it, but it went wide. I actually thought that was in. You know, that's opportunity where you say, oh, we could have we should have scored that. Well, we shouldn't have scored that because a deflection, it's very hard to tell where the ball's going to go. With that deflection, it can go left, it can go right, it can go, it can stay where it's, go it can stay in the middle, it can go up and down. When the ball that gets deflected off something or someone, the ball goes anywhere. The ball can go absolutely anywhere. It's, un it's impossible to predict where the ball's going to go. And unfortunately, the ball didn't go in the net, but it very well could have gone in. And yeah, that's basically what I like to react to. Um, fair play to Ukraine. I do hope they beat Wales. It'd be lovely to see them get to the World Cup. Um, but, yeah, 
that's it really hope you guys oh she's there at the uh camera cut out um so yeah that's the end of the video hope you guys did enjoy it um i certainly didn't enjoy the game but i'm sure um i'll just say like well done ukraine and i really hope they do well in the world cup and i guess i don't get to go to, guess i don't get to go to i guess i don't get to go to qatar then i wouldn't have been going anyway but i might have been able to go for Gotler. but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video on my channel.